Hi there, welcome to another episode. So I realized over the course of the last growing season that I planted too many strawberries in my containers. So I wanted to show you what is too many, in my case, and show you what I'm gonna do to remedy that and how many strawberries per container I'm going to reduce it down to. So let's go. I'll show you some examples, starting with this one. You can see this, there's way too many strawberries in that little corner there. This is a quinault and they tend to clump a lot. So I'm gonna reduce this all down to just one single quinault. Here's another example of something where I'm kind of leaning on wanting to get to, and that's that. Imagine this is a, a pie chart. I want every quarter to be just one strawberry. So this already kind of has that, as I've already been working towards it with this particular container. But really, the vast majority of my containers just aren't like that. So all of this just has to be reduced down to just one, 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 one strawberry. So I'll probably, I think these are all uh, quinault. So I'll reduce this all down to one quinault, reduce all this down to just one pine berry, one pine berry, and then I'll probably put a hula berry in the last corner there. And here's another example of what I'm talking about. I've got a quinault over there, tiny little quinault over here, which I'll take out and replace with the hula berry, and then I've got pine berries on opposite ends. But again, just way too many of them. So I've got to reduce all of it down. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, just so you can see it all a little bit better, is remove all these dead leaves. You can just pull them right out. Alright, now that I can more clearly see what's going on with this Quinault in particular, I'm going to try to keep the quinault that's a little bit more in towards the middle here because if it's too close to the edge it might dry out a little quicker so in order to uh, keep it growing a little better a little bit more hydrated I'm gonna pick one in the corner so that's probably going to be this one here that should be fine you can see it's still trying to flower and produce strawberries it's pretty crazy so, in order to do that, I'm going to take my pruners, I'm going to try to separate it from the mother plant here. Now, thankfully it's all dormant, so this won't really hurt it. Alright. So there is some root left on there, so that means I'm going to try to grab the other half. Just try to tease that out. Because I don't want to damage the roots of the tree that's in here, the apple tree. I might just have to cut it with some root, and that'll be fine. Couple there. There's another one right here. Got some root on there, it's perfect. Nice. Another one here. I'm actually going to leave this one instead because this one is kind of loose. But I got a root on there. Nice. It's starting to rain way too hard. Oh no. Well, it started to rain too hard to be filming out there and it's not forecast to stop. So, all right. So it's the next day now and I didn't want to end the video without showing you the end result. So if you remember that pie chart, I took out all the extra strawberries that I didn't need and I left a pine berry here, one, one kernel, and I left two pine berries that were split. That's fine, I'll be all right. And I'm gonna put 
a hula berry over there. So then I have a quarter for each strawberry effectively. And in between I could put maybe like a crimson clover, marigold, something like that. And I think that'll be perfect. I think it'll get much larger berries. I'll probably still have some of these strawberries splitting. Definitely the quinault, but probably also these pine berries. But that'll be all right. Kind of help fill it in a little bit. And I can always remove some extras at the end of the year. So, I appreciate you all watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.